when you spend all that effort now and you get somewhere and you were not even prepared and, and, and that time has passed because let's go back to the story with the, with the wise and foolish virgins. Yeah. You understand? You, you decide that now is the time. Now is when you want to fill up on the oil. You understand? Yeah. Now you want to go and get the oil and by the time you return, doors close. Yes, uh, Prophet Samuel. So today we're discussing, are we there yet? And it's quite an intriguing topic that was brought to us. And, um, you know, it, it, it really kind of encapsulates uh, the journey of salvation and uh, reaching to a point where you kind of uh, question your call after a time, when you question your purpose. Because, uh, you know, as believers, you know, we kind of start off hot and sweaty and, oh yeah, we know what we're doing, we know our purpose and sometimes a prophet will come and prophesy and this is what you're going to do and that's what you're going to do and, but after, it could be even a couple months, a year into salvation, we kind of lose a sense of purpose, a sense of direction because now it becomes difficult uh, in our natural walk. Our spiritual walk may be, oh yeah, we're ready, we're, we're, we're on fire for God. But then difficult things happen in the natural because the enemy will come up against yes. us. So on this journey, what is this journey all about? That begets the question, are we there yet? What is the final destination? Well, the final destination is to reach the effort, but on earth, the final destination is for us to get as much towards to Christ as possible and to speak about Him and to, to understand in those tough times, God already won the battle. He took it already. He, when He died on that cross, He took the battle and said, I won it. So all we have to do is keep pushing, keep looking at Him. And that's what God has been speaking to me about a lot, is to focus on His eyes. Look into His eyes and see the victory, see what God wants to do in our lives and focus on that. Because the things surrounding us, the enemy will always want us to look at it. But if we focus on God and see the victory, we will not fear what's going on in our lives. If the enemy comes with, and I will say that if the enemy comes with a bad report to the doctors, if the enemy comes with an eviction, if the enemy comes with whatever it is, we won't fear those things because we know the victory has already been won. This is just a testimony to, to God to show who God is in our life. God speaks about the race not being for the swift but for those who endure. And for a lot of people listening, that may be cliche. You know, we're on a journey right now, we're in Tobago, and we're, we're heading towards a destination. Now, if you really don't know an area, you could get lost, right? And it's very easy to get lost, especially if you don't. In today's world, there's, there's ways, there's Google Maps, you know, people have sat navs in their car to get them to a destination. But, and then let's apply that spiritually. If you don't know the area you're in, before you even reach, say, that country or, or that island or that unknown area, you have to research. You have to prep, you have to be informed to know the rules and regulations because let's say you're from America and you go to England, you can't go and drive on your right side of the road because what will happen? You cause an accident because or people will get lost. Or you will get lost because they drive on the left side of the road. And the same thing applies for our spiritual life. Of we are asking the question, are we there yet? But do we even know where we are? Don't be a copycat or don't jump on somebody else's road. Wow. Because we spend a lot of time trying to be on somebody else. We want because of jealousy or because of our own insecurity. We, we run behind somebody else's road when we have our own road and our own destination to go. So then some people, you know, God will send someone to, let's talk about a nation. Somebody will go to Africa, but that's not where God is taking you. God is taking you to Europe or, or let's say with the spiritual aspect God is saying I want you to be a pioneer go to the destination of faith but God is telling somebody to go to anointing or go to the glory but, uh, but it's taken step by step mm -hmm. 
we have to understand that God has his own time for everybody and God has his own our, or he has his own road for each other Wow! and we can't jump on somebody else's road because of our own insecurities and we can't go up beyond the time that God has set for us because he knows the time we need to get ourselves ready for our own call so as someone who is a pastor can't start a church before the time starts ah, or, that's a, or a prophet can't be ordained as a prophet before the time before he's ready or, or she's ready we have to have understand that God has our own time for everything so Amen. even as we that's why he says the race is not for the swift but for the because we have because we have to pace ourselves in Christ we can't go beyond God's instruction yeah because he knows everything. Yeah. Sometimes we have this pride inside of us that makes us believe we know more than God. Amen. And Amen. God and God is like, I am God. I know you better than yeah. I, I created you. Amen. So I know it's inside of you. So we just need to focus on the timing of God and what God wants in our life. Amen. And even since right now, there's a new direction God wants some people who is going to watch this right now. And he's going to tell you the, the direction. submit to God and I remember that in the book of Proverbs in verse 12 it speaks about there's a way that seems right to a man but the end of it is death and we don't want that we are so stuck doing things our own way or wanting you know just to, to please our flesh you know that we plan out we just plan I am going here and this is this is this is the destination we make up our own destination and that's where we try to go we want to make sure that we submit to where God is leading us because he's the navigation system, yeah. right? Now, when we choose to, 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 to detour and go all sorts of other directions, we still don't make it to where we have to be. No. We have to face all sorts of things we shouldn't have to face in the first place. You know, we have to, and that goes down with spending time with God as you just uh, was alluding to where we have to make the pissed up and stop to hear what God is saying for that season. You know? Sometimes we run out of gas and we're wondering, we're tired and we're tired and we're tired and asking God, God, why am I feeling tired? Why am I feeling down? Why am I feeling depressed? It's because we, we don't know what God is saying for that season. And if we know what God is saying, we will not be depressed. We will not be worried about what is going to happen because we know the answer already. And that's the thing, you know. We always ask, why am I being tested, God? Why am I being tested? But if we just look back, God already gave us the answer to the test. And we just have to follow through. You know, we just have to obey the instructions of God. And that's what God always says, you know, you obey and I will do. If we just obey what he says and forget about what we want, we will, we will be we'll be okay. Because look at it this way, would you rather obey God and go to heaven or do what you want to do and go to hell and go in eternity? Like time and place. Yeah. You could go somewhere and it could be close. Yeah. 
but you, you, you wouldn't have known it was because we didn't check before, right? So when you spend all that effort now and you get somewhere and you were not even prepared and, and, and that time has passed because let's go back to the story with the, with the wise and foolish virgins. Yeah. You understand? You, you decide that now is the time. Now is when you want to fill up on the oil. You understand? Yeah. Now you want to go and get the oil and by the time you return, doors close. As Ariel and uh, Sammy were alluding to earlier, right, they were talking about the importance of destination. And I remember you were speaking to me recently and you were telling me about the journey. And you say it's, it's not necessarily the journey, but it's looking at the final destination. So, so touch on that. Well, yeah, sometimes the journey might be long and windy, but the destination is. That keep keep it going sometimes mm -hmm. that makes you a long way to keep pressing on. Mm -hmm. And when the most important part about the journey is actually a magic yes. Yeah. So, so you will know where to go and how to reach there. Right. And I can see okay. Yeah. God is like our GPS yeah. mm -hmm. because it's all going. Because he is at the destination. Yeah. But he's also a GPS. Yeah. Right. So that um Show us where we need to go, so right. that you know. And if we outline, help us well, put us back in place. Right. And yeah. And and I say the whole thing about a GPS system is that it it's not connected to something of this world, yeah. right? And that's what we need to understand. Uh, uh, but we need to understand as well alignment, yeah. right? God is spirit, and for us to align with God, we must understand that we, our spirit man, must be aligned with his spirit. So that so that GPS, that sat nav, right, keeps us on that true north that we must go on to. Right? Uh, and, and JB speak about speak a little bit about your journey. Right? How how it got you to, to this point where you are. I mean starting off it was like okay I just come come into church just do it and all just come into church come to church and then eventually I started getting more involved so I started seeing yes I actually am become more interested mm -hmm. in these things because the type of things that I do in church that are actually interested in too as in yeah. some because I'm going to yeah that was what I am too yeah and well I guess I was just God putting on my path yeah because it's something I'm interested in so I actually want to be there now like right and I mean yeah, and that's it. It is just, it's just, and your life is never the same. This path we're walking on right now, right? We must understand that it, it, it is a, a windy road, right? It is an endless journey that we are on. But we must understand that in this journey, the final destination is us reaching to a point where we can say, and God can say, well done, my good and faithful servant. That is the final destination, right? But within the journey, understanding the ups and downs, we can't do it on our own. Yeah. And I remember you also speaking about that, about about us not keeping salvation for ourselves. Yeah, we, had, we had a share because this is not a gift that every stranger with. This is a gift to share. This is a gift for everybody needs. Everybody to experience. Mm. I mean, it's not not limited. It's endless. So by sharing. Those others might also share, and 20 people might actually reach their destination. And that's what God planned plan for. Yeah. So that is why we need to share the word of God and evangelize, mm. so that many may be saved. Mm. Wow, that's so awesome. So awesome. All right, and this is it. Are we there yet? guys i hope you do enjoy this episode of the files please be sure to subscribe share and also don't forget to click the notification bell and be sure to like